Brooklyn Independent Television. So I'm here with Shannon Pridgen at Heavenly Crumbs on Franklin Avenue. You know I love your cupcakes, right? Yes, yes. Now, how long have you had the bakery? We've been here four years. Four years already? Yes. Is it what you expected four years ago when you had a vision to do it? No. What's Not different? at all. In my head, I thought we were just selling cupcakes, but that's not it. We're a part of the community. Many things to many people. Mm -hmm. And every customer has their definition for Heavenly Crumbs. Bad day at work or celebration. Right. So we're all those things. Okay. So cupcakes is the base of what you bake and make, but you also have, say, some scones and some, some breads and some cookies and all of that. But what's amazing are your special occasion cakes. Tell me about those. Uh, we make cakes for special occasions for people from weddings, baby showers, birthdays. And what we do is we try to find out who the customer is, and then we design and create things for them. Everything is edible, everything is made out of sugar, and what we do is recreate memories and moments. I know you've got cakes that look like pocketbooks and like shoes, and your flowers look like you really went outside and picked them from the field, you know, and put them on the cake, but it's all edible. Everything. Wow. Everything. Now, how did you learn your craft? How did you learn the baking? I went to two different culinary schools, and I studied um, the art of baking, and then I worked with some top decorators in New York City, mm. and I've worked by myself for many years, and it's just a matter of learning and growing, and, and you bring so many different things into making cakes, and that studying art to architecture, and it just seems like it's unrelated, but it really is. Now, obviously, you had all that background and pedigree for being a baker and making what you make. What about the business side? How did you learn to be a business owner? That was interesting, because I thought having a business was creating a product. It really isn't. It's about numbers, it's about understanding what your business is supposed to be selling, and sometimes it isn't just that product. And when I went to Weibo, I began to learn and understand what uh, it is to have a business. It's not just having a transaction where someone pays you. Mm -hmm. And Weibo brought me to a really a complete and fuller understanding of what it is to have a business and to run a successful business. What's been the most surprising thing about being in business over these last four years that you couldn't have anticipated? Oh, just the day-to-day -day challenges of uh, running a retail operation, um, constantly always having to be on that ball and making sure you're, you're juggling the three that's in your hand and then also keeping your foot ready for the fourth one when it drops mm -hmm. out the air. And you can't read about it, you can't learn it, you have to do it, you have to live it mm -hmm. to understand it. And it, it makes you you know, better for the wear, mm -hmm. but I, I think that's it. I, I didn't anticipate that I would need to have so many, so much of me and so many facets of yes. me to really make this successful. It's not just about baking. Exactly, exactly. And now you have some company on your block here. You're on Franklin between Green and Lexington. And Lexington, I know there's some bars, there's a pizza place. And what, what's your vision for what's happening or your view of what's happening in terms of business in our community of Bedford Stuyvesant? I like what's happening. It, we have a, a lot of new just um, places where people can socialize. This end of Bedside is starting to attract uh, businesses that keep people on the block. Mm. So you have the bar, the pizza shop, where right. so people linger. As they linger, they spend more money, and also it builds a sense of community. Yes. And you, you don't want to go outside your neighborhood for services. Right. You want to feel completely serviced, and you want to have all the amenities that any other neighborhood has, Absolutely. and I feel that we're starting to, to get that. Yeah. So, well, you have been a contributor to what we have now for the last four years. I wish you Godspeed. It's a wonderful product. You got to come by here. I love the passion fruit uh, cupcake, but what's the most popular one? We don't believe in that. We, we're <laughs> bakers. Uh -huh. We believe in the art and science of baking. It's about your palate. It's mm -hmm. about what you enjoy and we will direct and help you find the best choice for you. Okay, well said, very diplomatic, but I know that there's a cupcake that's bringing that cash register every day. Shannon, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so stay with us now. We're gonna learn more about what it takes to be in business here in Bedford-Stuyvesant. Brooklyn Independent Television.
on the BCAT TV Network.